about 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.2, number 29, but 29 actually uses number 25. So to be specific, in 29, we're being asked, when will an output reach zero? But we need to use the function that we built in 29, which is right here. So we have this C of T equaling negative 205T plus 12,025, where, where C is the number of people Oops, let me shrink that a bit. This is the number of people infected with the common cold. Ah, cold. And T is going to be just years, right? So I'm going to do, whoops, I love when that happens. Okay, I'm having technical difficulties. <laughs> this is going to be years. Keeping in mind that I set my base year to be 2005, right? So that, that's what I'm, I'm going ahead and taking a look at. So let me put this as um, base year here was 2005. That's why I called it year zero. All right, so with all of that, basically what I want to do for 29 is just set this thing equal to zero. When's the output zero? So as we do that, we go ahead, we solve for T, and we get T being about 58.66, but I'm going to just round that to the nearest year. So the population is going to reach zero uh, 59 years after this model began. Now keep in mind my base year, we said, was 2005. So if my base year is 2005, what I need to do is take 2005 and add 59 to that. And I'm actually going to get the year 2064. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.